excellence must be pursued, it must be wooed with all of one's might and every bit of effort that we have. And each day there's a new encounter, and each week there's a new challenge. And all of the display and all of the noise and all of the glamour and all of the color and all of the excitement and all of the rings and all of the money, these are the things that really linger only in the memory. But the spirit, the will to excel, the will to win, these are the things that endure. Being perfect is about being able to look your friends in the eye and know that you didn't let them down because you told them the truth. And that truth is, is that you did everything that you could. There wasn't one more thing that you could have done. Can you live in that moment? how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done your effort and concentration into playing to your potential to be the best that you can be i don't care what the scoreboard says at the end of the game in my book we're going to be winners look out flushes it home the exclamation point and dartmouth's going to win it with six seconds left in overtime one game if we played them ten times they might win nine Not in this game. Not tonight. We need Bradley and Shearhorn into the corner. The engineers have it. Miller into the middle. Intercepted by Dartman. Dartman near side. Shot score! Shearhorn pushed Dartman up 5 4 with 2.14 to go in the third. There is a hero here tonight, and it looks like it's going to be Brad Shearhorn. your feet with every ounce of blood you've got in your body lay it on the line until the final whistle blows and if you do that if you do that you cannot lose Back there, watching in their corner 10 seconds ago 
McNally has it behind the net, feeds it out front. Pinkston has it, sizes up the net, can't find it, five seconds to go. Puck's still in the engineer's zone, Haggerty drives it down ice, Grant sticks it aside, goes into the netting, and that's it! Dartmouth wins 5-4, RPI season is over with! The margin for error is so small, I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. is your time. Now go out there and take it. For that itch. Right. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's going to make the difference between winning and losing. There's a base hit. Rounding third and heading for home. That's McKechnie or McCalman. She'll score. Here comes Miller, she'll score. Dartmouth takes the lead. Green are just one strike away from winning their first ever Ivy League softball championship and going to the NCAA tournament. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Dartmouth up 7-3. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right back to Runley. Fields fires to first. Dartmouth is the 2014 Ivy League softball champions as they defeat Penn by a final score of 7-3. And the Big Green are going to the big dance as they qualify for an automatic bid into the NCAA Softball Championship Tournament.